Hello, it's me again, and I'm here with my PFAFF1222E. With this machine, it has a known... So you can see that. This feeding up through this hole. Right there. It has a known power button issue. And what happens is it undoubtedly breaks and it's not able to turn on and off. And I discovered this when um, I went to purchase it. Nobody wanted it because they couldn't get it to come on and off. And I felt that this machine worked and I knew it worked. And I was going to get to the bottom of it. And that's why I'm doing this video. To help someone who wants to either, you know, get to the box of where they, they can buy this little box on eBay for about around 20 bucks. And get this box and replace it. It's connected with some wires right there and some screws. So you might just unscrew it and the wires may pop out. I'm not doing that part. However, what I am doing is I'm setting with some needle nose pliers for my machine to stay on. And when I'm ready to use it, I plug in my power source. And when I'm finished sewing, I take it out. And that's what I'm doing. And that's what I'm showing. This is the purpose of this video. Now, the way you get into this machine, first, you pop this off. I've seen people say in the video, it just seemed impossible. But you really just, you know, ah, pop this off. It's kind of held if you see this little part just kind of grips on there. And so it really just snaps on and it really just snaps off. Now, you're not going to have this available because I've taken this off, so that makes it a little easier. But when you're doing it, you're not going to have that leverage. You're just going to have to be like that. Okay, so that's what you're going to have to grip it with your, uh, and just give it a tug, like that. Once you get this lid off, it's going to, because I snapped it, I snapped this back on for the purpose of the video. It's going to be easier to get to uh, this next part. This next part is on this side. It's held together by one screw, Okay. Once you get that one screw out, this is going to lift a little bit right here, and this is going to still be stuck. You give it a couple of tugs, and it may take a minute, because this is an old machine, and it's been stuck together for a long time, but it will come off. Okay? Once you get that side off, um, this is going to be, you know, stuck in here. What I had to do... Oh. I apologize. This right here, the way you even get to this, ah, you got this handy dandy bottom. It's secured by five screws. Okay, there you go. So you got one, two, three, four, five. So to even get here, and it's really easy. It's really easy. So you snap, unsnap the top. This is held by one screw. You got to give it a nice little tug. And then you get these one, two, three, four, five screws. And you set it uh, to the side. Once you get in here, you're going to see this tucked in. How was it tucked in? It was it tucked in? Oh, it was tucked in like that. This is tucked in like that. And this is held by, I believe, those two screws. Once you pull these out by these two screws, and you give those wires, you turn this around, this is held in by this one screw. Now, it's held in by one screw and a little bit of sticky glue. Okay? So, it has a little sticky glue, but if you give it a nice tug, it's still going to come out. Okay? Now, this is what you need. Now, if you don't have to do all this to get to this little part, and you if, and you, if you're really nimble, and this is not going to be sticking through here. It's going to be down in here. If you feel like you're handy and nimble enough that you can work 
all this without getting all this out, good for you. I wasn't able to do it, and I wasn't comfortable because I like to see what I'm working on. But if you can do it like that, good. Well, the way I did mine, I held this little spring down. I don't know if the camera can zero in, zero in on this. And then I took my needle nose pliers and I touched the little silver thing. I grabbed it and turned it one fourth. Okay, hold on, so you can close that door so we can make sure we don't pick up any background noise. Um, so let me just say that again. I'm a homeschool mom, so I gotta weed out some of the sound. Okay, so once again, once you get to this little box, if you're electrical savvy, you're probably gonna take this box off and put a new power, a new power um button on it and feed it right through that little hole. I didn't want to do that. I like to save money as much as I can. And I had read how some um owners of this machine had just set the button to stay on. When you use your machine, you plug it up. When you're not using a machine, you unplug it. And that's what I basically wanted to do. And this video is for somebody who wants to do the same thing. And so, basically, this little spring, I pushed it down. And I don't know if that video can zero in. It's a little silver thing that's inside the spring. And I turned it to the right. And once I turned it to the right... My machine that was not responding, now it is responding, and it does work. And so, I hope this was helpful, just doing a quick review, let me unplug this, for safety purposes. To get into my machine, I unsnapped the lid, I took the one screw off and took the side off and I uh, took the heavy bottom off by five screws and then I pulled this off with the two screws and then I pulled it out turned it around and this was held the lid was on this by one screw and sticky glue, some kind of sticky glue. So you're gonna have to give it a nice little tug. I let my husband pull it, pull it because it was sticky. And once we got in here, this was nice and tucked in. He took he took two flat heads and kind of pried it out because it was like nice and snug, and he pried it out, and so I could get a really good look at this spring. Like I said, if you have the ability. To, Cause this spring, this direction is gonna be right here through that hole that you need. However, if you can reach down your hole with a flashlight, and I was trying to do that, but I wasn't able to do that. You know, if you don't want to take all this out off. Now let me tell you, I'm not really super electrical savvy and none of that. But if I did this, and I read that there were some people that wanted to do it as well, or they live so far from electrical um, person, they just, you know, they they needed help. This is that's what this is what this video is for. So if you trying to locate your box because you want to switch it out, this is where it is. Or if you just want to put this and just turn it one four. I did mine to the right. To set it to stay on. I hope this tremendously helps you and you're able to use your PF um, AFF12222E. I think this is one of the best.